This is a website called Conan in Your House. And if you want to go deep in the Lord, go to khouse.org. I mean, I've been studying. I've been on this website for almost 30 years learning from these guys. Powerful, powerful stuff. So check my Chuck Meisler uh, answers this question about the meanings of the names in Genesis 5. All right. And so I want to just jump into it and we're going to take a look at it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see that a little bit bigger. So here we go. All right. So Adam was the firstborn. And Adam the, is the first name. Adam comes from Adama and means man as the first man. That seems straightforward enough. So we, we understand he's man. Adam means man. Adam had Seth. Adam's son was named Seth, which means appointed when he was born. Eve said, for God hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. You see, so the name is the essence of the person and also what God is doing in the earth. You see what I'm saying? So they didn't just name their children just to name them. They named them with purpose, which we should always do. You know, we should always, not because just it's a family name, but we should give a name a purpose. Um, and so Seth had Enosh. Uh, whom I'm named after, I'm, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, so Seth's son was called Enosh, which means mortal, frail, or miserable. It is from the root Enosh to be incurable, used of a wound, grief, woe, sickness, or wickedness. It was in the days of Enosh that men began to defile the name of the living God. Woo! I'm telling y'all, this is going deep, and I want to cover this because you're going to see, a, you're going to get a revelation today. Just how awesome our God is. Our God, Yahweh, Jehovah, our God is God, and it's proven in our Bible. I showed you through the current chronology, and now we're looking at the names. And so we know in terms of the, the, the bloodline, Adam had Seth, and Seth had Enosh, and Enosh had Kenan. Kenan had Mahalalel. Mahalalel had Jared. Jared had Enoch. Then Enoch had Methuselah. Methuselah had Lamech, and Lamech had Noah. All right, so now this is what I'm going to stop right here because I, I want to make sure you understand what you're about to see. If God wanted to get a message to his people, and if God's intent was for you to study his word, wouldn't you think that he would put in his word his revelation? Now, we know just from an American standpoint that we can write things with code. So you literally can write like uh, paragraphs and paragraphs and people could read it and they read what the paragraphs say. And that's to them. That's what it says. But if you know the Bible code, if you know the code, if you know the sequence, you can look at that same, those same paragraphs and see the hidden message because there's a sequence to the words. You see what I'm saying? God was the originator of that. Man didn't make that up. God made that up. That was They got that from him, and I'm going to show you because we're going to look at the names of each person from Adam all the way to Noah, what their names were and what the meanings of their names were and what is God saying by having, their na having them be named that. Oh, I'm excited. I got chill bumps. This is... Whew, this is uh this is powerful. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. This is like I said earlier. I was speaking to Evelyn. And I was telling her this is one of my favorite things to teach on because you get to see how under the surface of the scriptures, God is hitting gems for those who study. He didn't say read. He says study. Matter of fact, Christ says, "Pick up your cross and learn of me." Right. That takes intent. That takes focus. That takes time. So it's not just reading a chapter because we already know on the Rise Bible Study we don't just read a chapter. We read every line and we look at every word and we try to look for meanings and understanding that God wants to reveal to us by the Holy Spirit, who is the Ruach HaKadosh, right? The Holy Spirit. Let's look at the names. Here we go. Adam means man. Seth means appointed. Enosh means mortal. Kenan means sorrow. Mahaladel means the blessed God. Jared means shall come down. Enoch means teaching. Uh, Enoch had Methuselah. Methuselah means his death shall bring. And Lamech means the, the, the despairing. And Noah means rest or comfort. Those are the generations from Adam to Noah. Now let's read what it says in English like it's a sentence. In the order they were born. It says that man appointed mortal sorrow. The blessed God shall come down teaching. His death shall bring the despairing rest or comfort. My God. Mm, Y'all better celebrate. <laughs> You better praise the Lord. Wow. You better praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Goodness gracious. Woo. And wow. people, and, and, and this is the thing that, that, that we got to see. The Bible says that the gospel be hidden, is hidden to those who perish, which means there are people in the world, they could be your mom, or your dad, your sisters, your brother, your cousins, your friends. It could be your children. It could be your husband. Look, I'm telling y'all, there are people who will never see this. 
even if you tell them they won't believe it. Even if you show them in God's word, they won't believe it. Matter of fact, they'll tell you that God's word is not even true because it's been passed down from generation to generation and people have changed it. But when you read it, you can see your father. You can see his hand. You can see his power because we are his children. My sheep know my voice and another they will not follow. That's how you know who's following Christ. And this is laid out so plain. We see the genealogy. Now, prior to even seeing this today, if you went through the genealogy, which we just studied, and you saw that Adam had Seth and you went down that, you would go, okay, okay those were the generations, and then Noah was born. All right, so Noah came through the, that line. But the question always has to be, well, what is God doing with that line? And now we see that those names actually say what God is about to do. We're going to go over it one more time. Man appointed mortal sorrow. What does that mean? Adam sinned and brought mortal sorrow. We lost our eternal life. The blessed God shall come down. Who are we talking about? We're talking about Yahweh, Jehovah, our God. In Jesus Christ came down to earth. God man, the God man came down to earth. Jesus Christ. To earth to do what? To teach. Teaching, right? That's what he did. He taught that, that the kingdom of God was at hand to repent. Like his cousin said, John the Baptist, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Teaching. And then what's going to happen? He's going to die. It says right here. His death shall bring the despairing rest and comfort. Mm -mm -mm. That salvation, redemption, atonement, all that wrapped into one. From the generations, from Adam who sinned to Noah who brought judgment over those who were born. And like Sadia said, and then the new began. And it began through Noah and through his son Shem. 